This morning, the National Rifle Association is under fire, facing a sweeping lawsuit from New York's Attorney General. My office filed a lawsuit against the National Rifle Association to dissolve the organization in its entirety for years of self-dealing and illegal conduct that violate New York's charities law and undermine its own mission. Letitia James accuses four of the NRA's top leaders of diverting $64 million from the nonprofit over just three years to serve as their own personal piggy bank. The lawsuit claims Chief Executive Wayne LaPierre spent more than $500,000 on eight trips to the Bahamas, more than $3 million on luxury car services, and that he obtained a post-employment contract valued at $17 million without the board's approval. In response, LaPierre and the NRA vowed to fight, saying this is an unconstitutional premeditated attack aiming to dismantle and destroy the NRA. And we not only will not shrink from this fight, we will confront it and prevail. The group filed its own lawsuit and accused New York's Attorney General, a Democrat, of a power grab, trying to score political points ahead of the 2020 election. How is this not political? I don't think politics has anything to do with it. The NRA, its board, its officers, its directors have an obligation and a duty to its donors. And unfortunately, they failed in that responsibility. And as a result of that, the NRA is operating in a deficit. The New York-based NRA, one of the nation's most powerful lobbying groups, spent more than $54 million during the 2016 election cycle. And last month, endorsed President Trump for a second term. That's a very terrible thing that just happened. I think the NRA should move to Texas and lead a very good and beautiful life. Again, this is a civil lawsuit that could take years to play out, but the attorney general here in New York says that this is an ongoing investigation and that she would refer any evidence of criminal wrongdoing to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, Savannah. All right, Gabe, thank you very much.